Hi and welcome back. So a new study out of Australia has shown there's a new effective and efficient way to conduct certain exercises that require half the effort but actually result in the same output. Enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this new study of Australia has got to offer. This is a review of a piece I read that was penned by David Neild and looked into a study which was published in the European Journal of Applied Physiology and looked into three ways to do the same exercise that showed that there was one clear winner when it came to effort versus results. And there are links in the description below to the study and the articles I used to put this presentation together. When it comes to exercise, an approach that's able to achieve the same results, but with less effort, probably sounds too good to be true. But that's what researchers have discovered in an analysis of exercise techniques and the subsequent changes in muscle strength and muscle size. This latest study looked into three different types of dumbbell curl exercise. Concentric, which is lifting weights, which in turn shortens the muscle, and eccentric, lowering weights and therefore lengthening the muscle and the more traditional concentric and eccentric together, which is alternatively lifting and lowering the weights in the same exercise. While all these exercises improved concentric strength, that's the lifting element only, only the eccentric, that's the lowering, and the concentric eccentric, both up and down exercises, improved eccentric and isometric, that's static strength. What's more, the improvements in the group doing lifting and lowering exercises were about the same as those in the group doing lowering exercises only, or half as many repetitions. Professor Ken Nasaka, Director of Exercise and Sports Science at the Edith Cowan University in Australia, said the latest study shows we can be far more efficient in the time we spend exercising and still see significant results by focusing on eccentric muscle contractions. In the case of a dumbbell curl, many people believe the lift in action provides the most benefit, or at least some benefit, but we found concentric muscle contractions contribute little to the training effect. In other words, the eccentric muscle actions achieve the same results as the concentric eccentric exercises, even though the technique takes half the time. The eccentric only exercise, that's lowering, also scored highest in terms of muscle thickening. Let's now take a look at the cohort. The results were based on four groups of people. There were 14 people doing concentric exercises only. There were 14 people doing eccentric exercises only. And there were 14 people doing concentric and eccentric exercises together. The exercise routines were carried out twice a week for five weeks with only three sets of 10 repetitions each time. And there was a control group of 11 people who did no exercise at all. Based on the results, the researchers suggest using two hands to lift the weights up into position before switching to one hand for the eccentric or the lowering action in exercises such as bicep curls and overhead extensions. The study authors also say the same principles should also be used in leg exercises. Professor Ken Nasaka said, we already know only one eccentric muscle contraction a day can increase muscle strength if it's performed five days a week, even if it's only three seconds a day. But concentric or isometric muscle contraction does not provide such an effect. The researchers said, that simple eccentric exercises without dumbbells should also prove effective. They can include slowly lowering yourself onto a chair or putting your hands on a wall in front of you and slowly leaning into it as your arms bend. According to the researchers, it's possible that eccentric exercises provide more stimuli to the muscle fibers in return for the same or even less effort, which would explain the results in this study. But more research is required to know for sure. Only adults with minimal weight training experience were involved in this study. So future studies could look at whether the same benefits would apply to other 
older age groups and already active individuals, as well as the different types of muscle groups. The overall message here is exercise can make a difference, even if it's limited in terms of repetitions, technique and time. You don't have to spend hours and hours in the gym each week to strengthen muscle groups and improve your overall fitness. Professor Nasaka closed by saying, understanding the benefits of eccentric focused training can allow people to spend their time exercising more efficiently. With a small amount of daily exercise needed to see the results, people don't necessarily even have to go to the gym. They can incorporate eccentric exercise into their everyday routine because, as past research shows, frequent exercise is likely key to finding the optimal exercise routine. So, whatever exercise you do, do it often. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. For someone who's lifted weights since 1989, so 30 years plus, uh, prior to that, I used to play rugby and run a lot. I broke my leg playing rugby, so I started to turn to lifting weights as another way of, of keeping fit. I think it might be difficult to beat 30 plus years of muscle memory to be able to just do concentric. I'm always going to be going to do the eccentric and concentric, the lifting and lowering together. Uh, also, without a training partner, I think concentric only will be difficult when it comes to doing exercises with barbells such as bench pressing or shoulder pressing. That said, if you've got a training partner, then they will help you to do the, the normal uh, exercise. And then what we normally call negative reps, which is the concentric, you would be able to do that on your own if you had a partner. But I think doing it on your own may be quite difficult. Um, that said, cheat reps at the end, which is where you do cheat. So you use uh, more muscles in your body to throw the weight up and then you can concentrate on concentrically lowering it. Um, may be an option. And if you've got a partner, they can always help you lift the bar up. If it's say, for example, bench press, and then you could uh, negative rep, you could take all the pressure on the way down. Let me know in the comments below, do you uh, use weights as part of your training regime? And now having seen this presentation, do you think you'll completely move to negative reps or um, concentric exercises because it's half the effort for the same outcome? Or do you think you might focus more on doing the cheat reps at the end of the exercise because you just feel more comfortable doing the eccentric and the concentric? I'd be interested to see your comments in the comment section below. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.